Ah, made it. I'm not even sure how that worked. Oh god. Damn you. Come out of nowhere. Alright. Right. Yeah, I'm trapped. Damn it. There's one way out. I could fall down, but I kind of want to see if I can kill this thing first. It's not terribly threatening in the hole. Yeah, there. Yes, it is. Okay. Um. Side step and kill. Yeah. Oh, it goes a long distance. I didn't know that. Oh, got it. Okay, now there is actually no other way out, is there, other than just falling down those holes? Oh well, Let's see if I can pick a good spot to go down. Um, they're all going to basically go to the same place. Okay, can they all make it? Let's just rest. That'll do. Cleric's getting hungry. Eat a maggot. Yeah. Yummy maggot. Okay. Uh, let's just jump down a hole. Any hole will do. As long as you hit the floor very hard and break all your bones. Yeah. Don't worry. There's healing crystals. Uh, this way. Right. So. The place to go now. now. I think uh, there's this big hole here. I wonder where that leads to or from. Hmm. Wait a minute, there's something missing. I haven't seen down here. Must find all the secrets. All the. Oh. I have gone down here, haven't I? Let's see if I can. Oh, yeah. Nice, I do have an ice projectile. A very ice projectile. Isn't that ice? <laughs> I should be using my fireball on this side. This is more effective. Look at that. It's getting to that point again where uh, the enemy that scared me before is no longer scaring me. Which means that the next level is going to include something super scary. But I'll be ready for it. I'll be calm and composed. And this thing. Oh, I know. This is. Uh, this is going to kill me, isn't it? Okay, let's just quickly run through there. Ow. Run away. Alright, now I've got that sword. Let's see how good it actually is. Attack power 14. Well, it's, you know, it's so, it's so much less powerful because... Yeah, it's a shame. I guess I could have Steel use it. Yeah, yeah he can use it as a frontline weapon if, uh, if it comes to it. Because it's still actually... Um, not much uh, different than his uh, dagger. Bloody hell, that thing won't shut up, will it? Stop belching at me. Right, have I been down here? Let's see, there to... Ooh, maybe I haven't. Uh, let's just jump. <coughs> no, I have. Okay, sod that. Right, so the only place to go now is out of here. To the next horrible thing. <laughs> Where is it? I'm sure there's going to be more of those um, big ogre bastards. I only had to deal with one here, didn't I? There'd be a whole load of them. Um, yeah. Let's do that. There we go. Nice and recharged. One more key. There's this gold key. Look where that goes. Oh. That's annoying. Oh, I wonder what the key to this is. It's one of these special doors that I know has something awesome behind it. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Treasure store. Oh, God. 
Look at their faces. It's like tentacle Cthulhu shit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There. Look. Stuff. And things. What's that? Is that a crossbow? <gasps> a book? I guess I have to choose. What's all that? That's a bunch of missile weapons and potion stuff. Okay. I don't want that. So it's a choice between a crossbow and a book. <laughs> hmm. What do you think? I'd go with the thing that lets you have the most fun with your tentacles. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, hmm. So, hmm. I don't have many crossbow crawls though, so it's not too useful to have that, I don't think. Besides, there may be another crossbow coming. I want to see what this book does. Tome of Fire. Oh, I like the sound of that. Okay, fire magic plus three and resist fire ten. Yeah. That's the stuff. <laughs> she gained resist fire twice from the gained uh, fire magic and from just having it. So let's see, what's the resist fire at this point? 63. Wicked. Okay. Alright. That was cool. You get to actually choose your destiny, or indeed your treasure. But damn it, there's no... Now where could that be? Probably something to do with around here. I just, I just don't... Oh! It's a, mm. I'm going to go another little quick look around here. Yeah, I didn't find anything in this area. But there is this suspicious unpressed panel. So let's press it. I hear something. Yes, let's keep a snail slice on it. Turn it just close again. Oh, more of those things. <laughs> yeah, but um, I was just thinking um, about the whole issue of how much to cut in a Let's Play series. How much... Um, so it's always been my feeling that commentary should be as should be without major gaps. Sorry, I'm just listening for that. I think that's on my left. There! Oh, now how would I... How would I possibly... Wait for it to fully open and then try to run for it. There's no way! Maybe I can get one of the, uh... I don't think there's anything I can put on that's heavy enough. If I can get one of those, um... Legionaries to stand on it, though. Yeah, you come here. I've got a use for you. Come on. Don't be afraid. Okay. Yeah. Stand there. Yes, 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 stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. Oh god, oh damn it! He didn't stay there. How do I make him stay there? This is going to be tricky. But yeah, like I'm saying, um, the issue of how much to talk in a let's play. And, uh, you know, I, I, I've seen various series. Um, everyone has their own style, and there's no, like, right way to do it. Um, there may be wrong ways to do it, but, um, you know, uh, I think, uh... Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, I guess I just gotta get him... So, oh, there's a snail. <laughs> These things keep coming. They're just gonna keep spawning the more I don't kill them. Oh, dear. Oh, no, no. Don't worry. Oh, no, now you're gonna corner me. Bastard. Alright, maybe not. <laughs> okay, I think I've just gotta sort of keep him... Like that. There we go. Then we can make it through here and be terribly killed. Uh, I need a potion. Ah, not too hard. We didn't need that potion, but anyway. Oh, I guess that's for opening up afterwards. Let's take some of this. 
yeah it's like oh yes 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 that's for that yes i found it wicked that's um yeah i mean i, I compare it to kind of uh, something similar to it is like uh, commentaries on dvds and uh, i quite like commentaries uh, and one thing that really annoys me is when i will watch a commentary track on the dvd and the people will hardly ever talk like 25 percent of the, of the of the thing is commented and it's just really irritating like yeah i've already watched this once like actually i kind of quite often watch it right afterwards um especially if it's something i really enjoy but some commentaries are really good like uh, the babylon 5 series has great commentary especially by um jms himself j michael straczynski the guy who wrote it um because you know he, it's his baby he he loves it um, some of the cast commentaries are mostly just sort of irrelevant ranting about whatever they feel like. Um, like, I remember there was one where the guy who plays John Sheridan, Bruce Boxleitner, was just talking about this scene, and he, until he, he, I mean, he'd never seen the episode. That's what really strikes me as bizarre. These guys work on this stuff, and they never watch it. You know? I mean, it just seems bizarre to me. <gasps> Shit in mail, yes! Wicked. Now you've got almost the full set. All you need is the, the shoes. Yeah. Wicked. Now is it actually better though? Plus three, plus nine. Yeah, it's much better. Okay. Excellent. I oh, didn't miss those boots up the other place. Alright. Next level. <laughs> 